What is going on you guys? Brandon again, coming back with another great review. Today we've got Magic Spoon Cereal. Pretty excited about this stuff. Heard about it from my dad. What makes this stuff so special? Well, there's no sugar in it. It's like naturally flavored. It's got low carbs, like four grams of carbs, if that's your thing. I personally like carbs, but still low carbs. So it's not gonna bog you down in the morning if you're eating it and whatnot. It has 13 grams of protein to get your day kickstarted and feeling it. It's grain free. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff. It's gluten free as well. So, I mean, it's pretty sweet. It's like all, it's supposed to be all the taste of classic cereal, but without, you know, all the sugar and all the extra calories and all this junk jam packed into it. So, uh, as you can tell, I've already, you know, got a little head start here on a couple of these, but we're still gonna go through. We're gonna taste test them, see how they are. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion, honest review on these. And yeah, I mean, that's it. So let's go ahead and dive into the stuff, do a taste test real quick and see how the stuff is. Just a quick video so you guys can get the magic cereal as well. Also, the price point of this stuff is a little bit pricey, but it's because you're getting, you know, like 12 or 13 grams of protein right um, out of this for breakfast. Then if you put your milk in there, you know, like Fair Life, you're gonna get another like 13 grams of protein. So you're starting to have like 26 grams of protein right off the bat. So pretty sweet. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the taste test. All right, so now we've got all this stuff poured up here. We're gonna use the uh, delicious Fair Life, you know, shameless plug. Mar Marla, what are you doing down there? We're gonna use the uh, Fair Life milk here. Pour it in a bowl, it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna do the peanut butter one, Fruit Loop one, Frosted one, the cinnamon one, and then a chocolate one in order to uh, basically assess it. But first things first, magic spoon, y'all need to get your boxes fixed because they're flimsy as heck. Look at this, they're all tore up. I'm trying to get into them. Or maybe I just suck because Cam opened these other ones and they look flawless. So maybe it's just me, but Try to get a box that ain't so flimsy. I don't know. I guess I'd just be tearing into them because I'm hungry, but. Anyway, let's go ahead and dig into this one. We're gonna do the uh, peanut butter one here. See how this tastes. I see you over there looking at me, Merle. The dog, I don't know if you can see the dog, probably not, but she's over here just giving me a stink eye. She wants some of this so bad. What's your thoughts on it, Oh, thoughts is this good? <laughs> All right. So the peanut butter one. Let's see what's up. So it tastes like regular cereal. Has a consistency. Has the consistency of the regular cereal. Um. Not quite as flavorful, like when you think of peanut butter, you're probably thinking of like Reese's Puffs or something. It's not gonna be no Reese's Puffs, but it does have a little bit of peanut butter taste to it. You know, it's not bad. It's really not bad. It might be like slightly, slightly grittier than regular cereal. But I, the term grit is like almost too overpowering because it's not like, it's not gritty in your mouth like sand, but it's just a little bit more um, textury, I guess. Tastes good, tastes fine. So verdict on the peanut butter one, for me personally, I think it's okay. Cam's tried it and she says that she likes it quite a bit. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'd probably give it like a three out of five. You th what do you say, three out of five? Closer to four out of five. Cam says closer to four out of five. All right, so now we're gonna move on to, oops, not this one. This one, the delicious Fruity Loops. The box won't stand up because I've already eaten a bunch. It's basically an empty box at this point. All right, let's go ahead and bust into it. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I've been eating this one all week. It's freaking amazing. Oh, oh, it's mm. Five out of five. It's so good. If you like Fruit Loops, 
This is freaking Fruit Loops. This is low carb, high protein, no sugar, Fruit Loops. This stuff is no joke, delicious. Five out of five, can't beat it. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, next up on the list, I haven't tried any of the other ones. I tried the first two before. That Fruit Loops though. This is the Frosted Boy, so 13 grams of protein, Frosted one. I mean, we'll see how it is. I do like Frosted Flakes, so we'll see what's up. Oh yeah, the other thing too that I noticed is that when you're eating this, um, you can have the cereal in there for quite a while because I was like eating breakfast and I kind of got busy and was doing something and I came back to the cereal. It doesn't get mushy. Like regular cereal gets mushy super fast. This stuff does not get mushy like that. So that is uh, definitely a, a perk for these. I can't like, can't put my, what's the saying? My tongue on the flavor? <laughs> what's the saying I'm trying to think of? I can't pinpoint what the flavor is. I know it's supposed to be frosted, but like there's something in here. I don't know, it's kind of weird. For me, the frosted one's kind of weird. Go ahead and try it. Like it has more flavor than the peanut butter one has flavor, but the flavor is a weird flavor. And I cannot for the life of me think of what that flavor is. Vanilla. It's vanilla? I think it's vanilla. That's what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure. It's vanilla. Yeah, it has like some sort of vanilla. It's like vanilla. Yeah. It's a, what do you think of it? It's like, it tastes like a vanilla cupcake, but like in cereal. Yeah, there we go. Van yeah, there we go. Vanilla cupcake. Yeah, that's what it is. Vanilla freaking cupcake. But in cereal form. So if you like vanilla cupcakes, these would be good. But it's, just, it's like almost a weird flavor in a cereal. I don't know. Do you like this one or the peanut butter one more? I can't decide. I think I might like this one. This one has more flavor than the peanut butter one, but I think I like peanut butter flavor better than this. Yeah, I agree. So this has more flavor than peanut butter. But peanut butter is better, unless you like vanilla cupcake for breakfast. And this is all you. All right, moving on to this one, which I think is gonna be uh, my favorite. I kind of put it in order. Uh, it's either gonna be between the chocolate one or the cinnamon one, but man, I mean, how cool is that? You got a freaking cowboy riding a alligator or something. Alligator dragon. Alligator dragon. Magic spoon, huzzah! 12 grams of protein, this one doesn't quite have, this is one gram less, um, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and dig in. This is the cinnamon one, and I am super stoked. Uh, it's, I think I might like the cinnamon one more than the chocolate one, but I did the chocolate one last, so I feel like chocolate is gonna have the most flavor, so I didn't wanna overpower my palate. Oh boy, I can smell that already. Woo And the good thing is too, like, well, I'll just I'll do that afterwards. Let's just let's see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. God, it's like they say, it's like uh, all like the childlike cereals, but for adults. That is good. That is really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll definitely be eating. I'll be buying the cinnamon one and the fruity one again for sure. For me, that's a five out of five. It's delicious. The first bite is good, but the second bite, like the cinnamon, just like completely covers up the palate and it tastes like a Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Do you agree? Yeah. I would say, if you like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you're gonna freaking love this stuff. Like, it's good. It is good. 
All right, now it is time for the Coco. I mean, it's a dog. So, and like a space guy, but the dog is the coolest. All right, let's go ahead and get on some of this cocoa here. Oh yeah, look at that. Getting that chocolatey milk in there. Smells delicious. Not quite as powerful as the cinnamon is, but. Yeah, when they when it's, they said cocoa flavor, it's cocoa flavor, not chocolate flavor. The more I eat it, the more I like it. I probably give it like a four point five. Like it's good. It's what I was I was thinking chocolate, but it's not chocolate. It's cocoa. So you gotta go in expecting. Just go in expecting cocoa, and it's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm gonna give the cocoa four, four point five, four and a half out of five. Cam? Oh, uh, you know. Cam's over there dancing around with a bull. Cam says five out of five. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to say, if I was gonna rank these, I would do, I'm not usually, like, I don't even really like Fruit Loops that much, but these have the best flavor. The Fruit Loops are by far the best. I don't know why, but these, boom, number one, like, all day. Easily number two. Easily number three. Fruit Loop one. Cinnamon two. Cocoa three. Peanut butter four. Frosted comes in number five. But they're all pretty good. Top three are definitely really good. Like I'm probably just gonna be buying these ones. I'm probably not gonna buy these ones anymore, I'll be honest. But yeah, all in all, I would say pretty good. The nutrition value of these are awesome. Uh, the low carbs are gonna be good for diabetics, so that's good if you're diabetic or you know have some uh, some sort of medical condition where you can't have a lot of carbs, and that's good. Yeah, so really, I, like I don't usually typically eat cereal. We haven't even put cereal in the house in over a year easily. Um, like I said, my dad had turned me out of these, and it's high, high protein, low carbs, all the stuff that I've been saying. And I was like, hey, you know what? It's basically like, you know, I'll go ahead and try it because cereal is delicious. Don't get me wrong, cereal is super good. That's why we don't put it in the house, because it's a sugary treat, and it's not really good for you. It's just gonna make you fat. So, you know, this has all the protein and everything else in it. And that's awesome, and it has a flavor, mostly, of what you'd want as a childhood kid, but it doesn't have all the extra bad sugar and gunk in it. So it's pretty awesome. So, you know, if you're like me, and I've eaten oatmeal every single day for the past, like, 11 years for breakfast, I just got sick and tired of oats. I need to eat something else for a little while. So I was like, you know what, I'll try these. And... They're pretty good, so I'm probably gonna eat these for a little while. The price point on these are pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. It's like seven bucks a box or something like that. I can't remember exactly how much I paid. I'll put the price up here somewhere. And you can see the price of it that I paid. Um, there are discounts that you can use. I think you can get like five bucks off or something, which basically just covers shipping. But for all five boxes, I think I paid like 50 bucks or something. Um, so it's pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. So if you're willing to shell out the money to to get the protein and eat a little bit healthy without getting all the sugar, then yeah, definitely try these stuff out because they're good. I do like them, and I'm gonna be eating them for for a while. I can definitely see that probably for a couple weeks and then switch back to oatmeal again. But you know, I'm, all in all, that's it. My only gripe really is the boxes for me are flimsy, and the price is a little expensive. But you know, when the first ingredient is milk protein blend, casein and uh, casein and whey. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be more expensive. So, you know, if more people buy this stuff, you know, maybe the price will go down over time because they're able to mass produce more of it. But, you know, all in all, pretty good. Bad thing is the box price. The good thing is everything else, the ingredients. So, you know, there's that. So, y'all, yeah, I mean, I'm just over here rambling. But all in all, it's just a quick, easy video. I wanted to get this out to you guys so you know y'all could check this stuff out. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you wanna pick this stuff up. Also, I have merch that I am using to help fund the channel. So if you want, you can pick up some merch as well. And there's also a link down below for some supplements you can use. Click on that link and you can get like 20% off all of Redcon 1. That also helps uh, go to me as well. 
And then they put a link down below if you want to get uh, some free stocks off of Weeble. You can click the link down below. You'll get free stocks, and I'll also get free stocks. So it's kind of like a win-win scenario. And, yeah, I mean, that's really it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Do all that stuff. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all next weekend.